Hello everybody, welcome back. It has been a great day today. First time out? Yeah! We have found gold. Speaking in the dirt. Adventures in Gold Rush, baby! Yes. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Gold Rush. Well, I am in Switzerland in the Knopf area and I found out you can use a Henderson pump. So I went and bought one because I left mine at home because I thought it wasn't allowed like in Disentice, but you can use it here, which is a big bonus. So went and bought one at this gold shop right up the road uh, and Today, I will re re be reviewing a special sluice made right here in the Nap Gebiet. Uh, not there, it's called the Nap Schluce from goldvossshop.ch. And I bought some miner's moss because it's supposed to catch the fine gold here better. So I'm going to see how my gold recovery increases with this bad boy. Plus, it's really simple just two things to click. Pull it out, two things to click to take the top off, easy to clean, cool. So I'll do a time lapse of it. Oh, I'll actually film it when I'm taking it apart and cleaning it later. Okay, in case you're new to my channel, my name is Rick and this is Dio. And together we are your hosts for Adventures in Gold Rush. So, not only am I testing out this Nap Schluss, but I'm also going to dig and see how much yellow I can find today. So, come on, let's do it. Well, as you guys can see, I have two buckets, a little over half. One's half full, one's a little over half. So about five and a half gallons of classified down material. There's the sluice I'm about to try out. Curious how it's going to work. So I'm going to set the camera down and film me running these two buckets through. All right, well, so far I'm loving this thing. I'm gonna finish these two buckets, get back to you guys and show you what's in there. Okay, you guys, I'm back and I'm gonna show you a cleanup on this really quick and oh my goodness. It's like a pretty big flake over there. Slowly lift this bad boy up. Okay, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine colors in the top. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so first we're going to detach this thing. Two clicks. And this pulls right off. Down here we have click. Click. Oh, from up here, you pull it off. Okay. My first time cleaning it, so. Ah. This thing's rinsed off. Now, the miner's moss. Oh. That thing 
Flames in clean there. It's good and clean. Love it. Now we've got to get this rinsed off. It's right up in your bucket. I like the way it fits really nice and easy in the bucket. And there, boom, all clean. Now we put it back together really fast. Really fast, I say. It goes in there. The little arrow tells you which direction this thing's supposed to be going. The bad boy goes in there too. Just like that. Ooh, still got a little sand there. Didn't get off the top. And this little hook right here hooks on the front. Pull it down. Push it down, take your clips here, click, click, bottom part's down, this part comes, my first time, already came put together, and this little lip goes over the top, click, click, boom, ready to rock and roll. Bad boy, sit back up in ya. Looking good. Boom, set up, ready to go. I'm gonna get this material cleaned up and I'll show you guys a shot of what it looks like on the DJI. All right, I am on the spot. So, what I'm gonna be doing, since this is the main river, if you wanna search for gold in uh, the Nap area, this is gonna be my area and I'm gonna work off this bank this season but I really want to work this area. This gold right here, what I have, is just as much as I had all day, seven hours yesterday, and this is only after one hour, including filming time. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll flip it around. There it is. I uh, hope you guys can actually see it. I'll do a spin, see if it's easier to see over here. Really tits. Put a little bit of water on it so you guys can see it that way, maybe. Look at that yellow, baby. Woo -hoo! So, what I'm going to do now is I want to concentrate and bust my butt and uh, get some concentrates together and uh, work pretty much the rest of the day and see how much I can get. I think I might be able to beat my record today. This sluice works really, really well, uh, including having the miner's moss is bomb. Okay, I'm gonna work, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. <sighs> okay, so I brought an umbrella for Dio every day, and what does he do? What does he do? He's over here trying to get a tan. What's up, buddy? You over here trying to get a tan? Oh my goodness. Loving it, huh? Chilling. So, let me show you guys the concentrates I have. This right here. Quarter bucket of concentrates from sluicing today. So yeah, I'm gonna get this panned out, get it all in my snuffer bottle be boring as hell to watch all this so uh yeah cool 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 we'll get this done and uh pack up and head back to camp 
Oh, I'd like to show you guys something. My work progress for the day, because, well, today and then two other days that I was here, half days. So, basically, two full days time being here. And here's a wall that I built. All that right there. And then there is my hole. It's easier to see it right now because it's clear at the moment. But yes, I've dug that hole. Oh, you guys can see how deep it is on my leg there. Dug all this corner out. It was about, it's about up to here. That corner. Dug all that out. And right there, I marked my place. Again, if you're here and you're digging a place and you're going to come back and dig it again soon, then you should always mark it just like that. And Dio is chilling and ready to go, I think. He looks pretty sleepy. What's up, Dio? You about ready to get out of here, ain't you? All right, man. All right, everybody, so I'm gonna get these concentrates panned really fast and pack up, and I'll see you guys back at camp and show you what I got today. I think it could have been my best day yet. But you never know, we'll see. Well, another day has come to an end and I've made it back to camp. Here's a shot of the gold in the vial. Here's a shot of the gold in a pan. Now I would say that's not a bad day. So yeah, one of the better days today and I'm hoping it's gonna get better because I know in that area that I'm at, someone got a picker there and I'm trying to get a picker from there myself too. So we'll have to see how the weather holds up because the next two days is supposed to be 80-90% chance of rain. So, well, that's it for me and deal. Double G. So we'll see you next time.